Number 47. Determine the mass of each of the following. Okay. So, I see for each one of them, we all have moles, right? Moles, moles, moles. M-O-L is moles. So, it looks like for this type of question, we're going from moles of something, so moles of X, to a mass, and mass is usually inferred as grams. So, we're going from mass of something to grams of something, and I just put the X that represents something. It could be an element, it could be a compound, it doesn't matter. In this case, we have all compounds. Now, how do you go from moles of something to grams of something? Well, you should know that one mole of anything equals the molar mass, so the mm in grams of that compound or element, all right? So one mole of that compound or element equals the molar mass in grams of that element. So the first thing I wanna say is, you should know how to find a molar mass by now, right? The molar mass is always found on the periodic table. If you guys don't know how to find a molar mass, stop this question right now, go back to number 42 and beyond. So 42 and then just keep running through the playlist if you guys got the playlist, all right? So I'm gonna do the molar mass for A, but then I'm going to assume that you guys know how to do them, so it will be quick, all right? So. For these, you always start with what you're given. So for A, I'm going to start with 0 0.0146 moles of KOH. And now we're converting, so we times by a ratio. We don't want moles anymore. That goes on the bottom. And we want grams because that's the mass, grams of KOH. Okay, so what is the conversion between moles and grams? So we just said it, right? One mole of anything is the molar mass. So one mole of anything, the one goes with the word mole, equals the molar mass of the compound that is given. And in this case, the compound is KOH. So let's figure it out. I'm going to put the molar mass over here. So what do we have? We have potassium, oxygen, and hydrogen, right? We have one potassium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen per each um, element in KOH. And then you just multiply by the masses. So we need potassium, which is over here. We have oxygen, which is over here, and hydrogen up top. So it would technically be 1 times 39.10, which is the same number, 1 times 16.00, and then 1.10. 1 times 1.008, right, which is basically all the same numbers. And then at the end, you just add them up. So it would be the addition of the three parts, which will get your whole. So 39.1 plus 16 plus 1.008, which is 56.108. 56.108, and that's the number that goes here, 56.108. The words mole cancels out, and now all you got to do is it's just a simple conversion. You multiply, right? 0 0.0146 times 56.108, and you get your answer. So this answer would be 0 0.0146 times 56.108, and we need three sig figs because that's how many we started with in this uh, question. So 0 0.819 grams of KOH. So I'll just write this over here. 0 0.819 grams of KOH. Box that answer off. That's the answer to the first one. Let's keep moving. B. They now tell us that they have 10.2 moles of ethane, which is C2H6. So times by that ratio, moles of C2H6 goes on the bottom, and grams of C2H6 goes on the top, and we have to use this information right here. One mole, the one goes on the bottom, equals the molar mass of the compound C2H6. So this is where we're going to make it a little faster. We're going to shortcut it. I'm not going to write it down. You guys should know. We'll check our answers, right? So let's see. Let's see if you get the same thing as me. Two times 12.01 plus six times 
uh, 1.008. Now, if you want to, you know, shorten the numbers and just say 1 and 12 and 16, be my guess. I don't care. I'm just going to make sure that I just write whatever's on the periodic table here. So this would be 30.068. Cancel out the word moles of C286, and then you multiply by 10.2. And that you get 307, because we need two sig figs, grams of C2H6. So that's the answer to the second one. 307 grams of C2H6. Let me erase. And then we will start anew. What do you guys think? You think this is easy? Let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully it's easy for you guys. I want to make it as simple as simple as possible. All right. So I'm going to check this off. C. We got 1.6 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of Na2SO4. So times by that ratio, we don't want moles of sodium sulfate, Na2SO4. So that goes on the bottom. And we want grams, right? So grams of Na2SO4 on the top. One mole is the weight on the periodic table. So let's go for it. Let's see if we get the same answer. Two, because there's two sodiums. Two times 22.99, you could say 23. Plus, uh, we got one sulfur, so that's 32.06. And then we have four oxygen, so four times 16. You should get 142.04. Cancel out the moles because the units are the same, and then we just multiply. So 142.04 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 3. We need two sig figs, because that is what was given here. And it's 0 0.23 moles, actually no, we canceled that moles, grams of Na2SO4. So this would be 0 0.23 grams of Na2SO4. Box that answer off. D, 6.854 times 10 to the third moles of glucose, C6H12O6. So same thing as before, times by that ratio. We don't want moles anymore, so moles of C6H12O6 goes on the bottom, and the grams of C6H12O6 goes on the top. One mole is equal to the mass on the periodic table. So we got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Six times 12.01 plus 12 times 1.008 plus 6 times 16. So you get 180.156. These cancel out, so 180.156 times 6.854 times 10 to the third, and it is the third, it just checked. And we need four sig figs, because this answer has four, so it would be 1.235 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 grams of C6H12O6. And that's the answer here. 1.235 times 10 to the 6 grams of C6H12O6. That's that answer. And then last but not least, I'll fit it down here. We got 2.86 moles of CO NH36Cl3. Well, doesn't matter how scary that compound is, it's the same exact thing. So moles of CO NH36 Cl3 and then grams on the top. So grams of CO NH36 Cl3. I'm just gonna extend that. And what do we know? Oh, okay, well, one mole is the weight on the periodic table. So if you guys can remember one thing, whenever you're converting, the one, the one goes with the word mole every single time, no exceptions. All right, 
So let's see if we get the same molar mass. So cobalt is 58.93. There's only one of them. So 58.93 plus we have six nitrogen, so six times 14.01 plus we have uh, 18 hydrogens because you have to times that, six times three. Plus three times chlorine, which is 35.45. So we get 267.484. Cancel out the word mole of this compound and then just multiply across. So this times 2.86. And we have three sig figs, so we need three sig figs. This would be 765 grams of CONH36Cl3. I'll just put it up top here. So 765 grams of CONH36Cl3. That's the answer. That's all the five answers. Awesome job, guys. This one was easy peasy. It was just pretty long because there's, we had to do five of them, but hopefully you guys got it. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any questions, you could always ask me. I'll answer back. Love hearing from you guys. Click the like button if this helped you, and if you want the next batch of videos, click that subscribe button. That will help us out too. And I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys all in number 48. Have a great day.